Hey, church family, it's Pastor Pat. Uh, we're going to be reading uh, Hebrews chapter 8, verse 6 uh, today and, and uh, just thinking about our Savior based on these, in these ideas. Hebrews 8 then says, But now he has obtained a more excellent ministry, by as much as he is also the mediator of a better covenant, which has been enacted on better promises. The highest goal in God's interactions with man is the expression of his glory. This may seem arrogant, but it's impossible for God to be arrogant because everything good emanates from him and exclusively from him. Whatever praise we give him is deserved and more, and when he reveals himself, that is the very definition of good. So we can look at better in, in two aspects. First, as, a, access to him and intimacy with him. The old covenant was glorious in that the one and only true God approached sin-filled man with a promise that neither Abram or the, or the human race had any right to receive. Out of the pure grace, God told Abram that he would be given a land, a child, and that through him all the nations of the earth would be blessed in the coming of God on earth, the Messiah. God spoke with Abraham unlike the vast majority of the Old Testament believers, showing access and intimacy. The promise is centered on the coming of the Messiah. So enter Jesus, also known as Emmanuel, which translated means God with us. The incremental fulfillment of God's perfect plan. For a little over 33 years, God again walked the earth, this time his fullness in human form, initiating a level of access and intimacy unknown since Eden. He came to allow us to see the glory of his Father, to intimate, initiate a covenant that once completed would tear down the remaining guilt of sin that continued to separate God and man. God gone would be the formal priesthood, the necessity for continual animal sacrifice, ceremonial clean, cleanliness, dietary laws, and the separation of Jew and Gentile. As a matter of fact, family cohesiveness itself is redefined from biological to spiritual. And only after the covenant is sealed by divine blood and the fact of Jesus' divinity is established by his resurrection and he ascends to his place besides the Father in, in, the, in an inexpressible gift of the promised Holy Spirit or Holy Comforter is given and he's now not resting on us. This spirit is not resting on us for a, for a specific task or for a message to be given. No, he instead, he is described by Jesus in this way in John 14. Jesus said, I will ask the Father and he will give you another helper that he may be with you forever. That is the spirit of truth whom the world cannot receive because it does not see him and know him. But you know him because he abides with you and will be in you. A moment later he says, And if anyone loves me, he will keep my word, and my Father will love him, and we will come to him and make our abode with him. But the Helper, the Holy Spirit, whom the Father will send in my name, he will teach you all things and bring to your remembrance all that I have said to you. Christ's promises and the ministry of the Holy Spirit is fundamentally better than the land, children, and prominence promised in the Old Testament. His promise is a transformational relationship expressed in our obedience, motivated by love that is not to be cognitively accepted or earned by our religious behavior. Now Jesus offers spirit-empowered, grace-driven, gospel-expanding participation in the ministry of reconciliation that will affect forever the glory of God. We will reign, we will serve perfectly for eternity. Jesus said this, if anyone serves me, he must follow me, and where I am, there my servant will be also. And if anyone serves me, the Father will honor him. The wording, my servant, gives the idea of a personal attendant. Can you imagine anything better than being Jesus' butler for a day? What would it be like to wait upon the master, laying his clothes out for the day, filling his glass with ice water that would refresh him perfectly, being certain that only his favorite fruit of the day is at his table within easy reach. 
standing next to him as he confers with the Father, eagerly awaiting the slightest hint that I could be of service. This is access, and service is intimacy. What an inexpressible joy. Lord bless you.